Hi guys, welcome to the channel, my name is Martin, this is Boom Bricks and welcome to a new video on my channel. You may have noticed recently that I have not been doing a lot of videos, I've been doing my Friday foil days but I've not really been very active with the videos and the reason is because I've been creating this Lego room. So I'm going to start off just by showing you this is where the magic happens, this is where I do all my live streams and my builds. Quite a comfortable area to work, I've got a nice big desk, quite a lot of space. A couple of laptops, this is uh, one that I use for streaming, it's quite an old laptop but it still does the job. I've put some wallpaper on the walls. As you can see, I had to go for marble theme. I wanted something that was a little bit different. Didn't want loads of color. Just wanted something to go with the room as it's a Lego room. I wanted to be a bit, bit nerdy and do that. So that is what I've done here. I've done my favorite color on the walls. I've done my sand green paint. I absolutely love that. There is a plan to put some pictures on the wall here. I've got some VIP prints that are all framed up so they're ready to go on this wall. So I'm gonna use as much space as I can here. On this little side on the left, I'm gonna be putting the brick sketches, I think, or maybe some minifigures. I'm not sure I want to display all the Marvel minifigs, but I'm not sure on that. So let me know what you think I should do with that. As people know, I do have other kind of brands. So these are Mega Construct Halo, I love Halo, so that's there. I've got some Speed Champion sets ready to build. Some brand new ones, which I can't wait to get done. They're gonna go on the shelves. I'll be doing that soon as well. And then a few other bits there, got a little Joker key ring. And then down here, we've got a few extra pieces that are sort of personal to me. I've got a pencil pot, which is designed by Cabbage Face Bricks. I've also got my Sig Fig there as well, which was done by the Brick Post. And that is really cool. So that is something that's my little pride and joy. And also the wife gave me a happy 40th minifig as well. So that's what, something I keep with me all the time. Coming across to the right, I've got a little bit of a backlog going on here. Uh, this is probably uh, maybe a one sixth of what I've got back like I've got a lot of sets to build <laughs> there's something wrong with me these are the brick heads that I've got also got some new Marvel stuff the new helmets as well so yeah can't wait to get those built on this little shelf I've got the little Marvel mechs three new ones coming out can't wait to get them but technically it's five so I can't wait to do them as well a little display box done by Brickbeat and AV Bricks which I had to build their little plinth and I just added the box at the bottom Coming up to the next shelf, got some space stuff going on. I have got the Saturn V, which is over a different area because you can't really see that there. We've got some Kobe at the top here as well. I do like these, these are really cool. If you want some Kobe stuff, do check out Cabbage Face Bricks. He does a lot of Kobe builds there. And running across the top, the helmet collection is starting to grow. So I've got another three more to go onto there. So they're really cool at the top. I love my mechs. This is the, the jar. This floor is well squeaky. <laughs> this is the Ninjago shelf. Uh, we've got some really cool ones in there. I love these tight mechs. Going down as well, you've got this absolutely massive monkey kid, monkey king mech. The new Ninjago Ultra Combo mech, which is pretty cool. My favourite one out of all these, Voltron. I absolutely love that one. And then this random. Monkey Kid one, which has actually got a big fig. It's the first time I've seen a big fig go into a mech, so that's pretty cool. Then coming down to the next shelf, this is some of my Marvel mechs. I need to get some light in here, guys, because it is a little bit dark in these shelves. And then going down, we've got Wowie. Garmin and Garmin and Garmin. I love that one, that's really cool, very different. And then the Bull King. I've got a little bit more backlog under the table. I've got a few bits here ready to go to Stuart at Brick Bricksworth. The Going to be doing a little bit of swapping and trading again another non-lego brand this is a bricks toys bay bricks toys bay yeah bricks toys bay transformer bust random brick head that's just sitting on his own for some reason and then we've got some of the droids this is the bd1 mock build can't wait for the official lego one to come out hopefully it's really good hopefully it's as good as that maybe better and then more droids Keep going down to the droids, some more mechs, and there's a few mechs on the bottom shelf as well. This is just roughly where they're going for the time being. I may be changing that up. Uh, that's the main thing about this room, you do get to change things up. There's two more units this side. I'm going to just show you that there. You can see there's quite a bit of space. I've got quite a lot of space over this side to still fill. Up the top is mine and Cabbage Face Bricks Lego Ideas. Monsters Coach, still on display. I absolutely love that. I really, really would love to get to 10k on that so guys if you are 
new and you haven't gone to that, there will be a link popped in the video to go and support that. Then we've got some Mustangs, we've got the official Mustang, and then we've got Nat Bricks Mustang made from the Porsche 911 set. Absolutely amazing, love that, had to keep that on display. Again, some more Mega Construct. Now this is the Tesla Cybertruck. Absolutely huge, love it, really, really cool. Amazing. And then I've lit up the bone shaker. I have to do that, so I use one of those light kits and get up the bone shaker. Then we've got the Ecto-1 with the light and sound kit. Awesome, love it. The UCS Batmobile with the Bat Pod. That's not an official one, that is all the pieces I've got together so I could build that to actually get it on display. I wasn't paying 500 quid for what it is, so I had to do that. And one of my holy grails down here is the Technic Osprey, which was very hard to get hold of. I managed to get hold of one. I got it for RRP at 125. Not going to build it yet. Don't know if I ever will. Not sure. Then I've got loads of space here. The back wing is randomly stuck down there. I have got a like it on it, but I don't know what to do with it. Little frame with some Harry Potter figures. Brick sketches. I've got the other two Mickey and Minnie to do. And then I managed to upcycle some Malm units, put some of the wallpaper on there. This is just basically full of random like bricks and pieces. And then down here I've got a few magazines and other bricks and loads of random stuff. And then here's an exciting drawer because there's instructions and some pieces ready to build an awesome droid. I've got this RJ Bricks Johnny 5, absolutely love that, really, really cool. So that is definitely staying on display. The Daily Bugle all lit up with sound and light. Absolutely love this thing. The Saturn V rocket is down the side here. There's some cables and some lights, so just bear with me because I also haven't set my lighting up properly yet. I've got a bit of Marvel stuff going on. Some boxes ready to go in the loft. And then I've got another light kit. My next light kit is going to be for the, the awesome Benatar, so I cannot wait to install that. And the top shelf, we've got the Mock Milano by Build Better Bricks. Another Milano there, and then we've got another sort of custom mock build there as well of the Buddhable Iron Man. And yeah, so I'm really happy with that. I've got loads of space there, I've got loads of Marvel stuff to get out on technically about eight shelves. And then this is my favourite area, I absolutely love this, it's done really well, I'm well happy with it. Just a little radiator cover with the Hulkbuster Ultron Edition, new Hulkbuster coming out soon, really hope it's good or better than that. The gauntlet. Just built on your, so I'm really happy with that. It's absolutely huge. And then the brick art of the Ultimate Iron Man with my name, Boom Bricks, on the channel. So I had to add that in. Just something extra to add to it. So that is my room tour, guys. It's not loads. It kind of is, but it isn't. I've got lots more to get out of the loft and start adding in. I've got minifigures. Hopefully, I'm going to get minifigures on that wall. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that yet. But yeah, that is it. And one more thing as well is my new chair. So I had to get a decent chair because I've been sitting on a dining chair for the last two years. So I picked up this Ander Seat Marvel Ant-Man Edition. I absolutely love this. Really, really good chair. Really comfortable. And yeah, I was going to be doing some more streaming and building in that chair. So that's my room tour. Thank you guys for watching. I've got a lot of big sets that I can now display. Finally, can't wait to get these built. Gonna be doing a more sort of live stream a bit in my own time as well. But thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Whee!